In 2005, a group of geeks in San Francisco gathered in a coffee shop in the Mission District to plot a worldwide takeover. <laughs> okay, not a worldwide takeover, but their idea would take over the world. They were inspired by a different kind of unconference that O'Reilly Media threw every year. It was called Foo Camp. F-O-O -O stood for Friends of O'Reilly, but it was also a fun play on placeholder names and computer programming, also referred to as medicine tactic variables. A sphincter says what? Say that 10 times fast. What? The idea was pretty awesome. It was an unconference because there were no pre-scheduled speakers. Just a big empty grid with rooms across the x-axis and times down the y-axis. The attendees would arrive and fill in one of those spots to give a talk. The only issue with Foo Camp was that it was invite only. So Tantic Chalik, Chris Messina, Aristasi, Ryan King, Andy Smith and Matt Mullenweg were plotting to create an open version that they would call... Drum roll please. Bar Camp. You know. Foo bar, bar being the next variable. Ugh. Anyway, today I'm gonna get kind of nostalgic. Talk about this amazing event and worldwide community, highlight where it's still going on, and hopefully convince you to attend or bring back bar camps of your own. My name is Tara, and this is Truly Social. <music> The first bar camp was held in Palo Alto, California at the offices of Social Text, a wiki software company. It was organized in less than a week and attracted over 200 people. But that wasn't the most amazing part of this crazy event. It was also organized transparently, so within the next few years, bar camps happened all over the world. It's estimated that there have been tens of thousands of them now. Holy shnikes. I missed the first bar camp. I watched it happen from afar but couldn't attend. But once I got the bug, I traveled to bar camps in New York, Toronto, Toronto, Austin, Paris, London, Seattle, Portland, Bangalore, Los Angeles, and joined forces with some of the original founders to organize several subsequent bar camps in San Francisco. Ten months since the first bar camp, there have been now, I think this is the 31st or the 32nd bar camp that's happened around the world, which is pretty amazing. And we've been involved in the organization of two. On the fifth anniversary, we organized Bar Camp Lock at Social Text, and over 1,200 people came. Bar Camp also morphed into all sorts of specific camps. Pod Camp for podcasters, Ed Camp for education, Health Camp for doctors, Rebar Camp for real estate people, UX Camp for user experience types. There was even a transit camp, initialized in Toronto to bring together city transit officials, developers, geeks, and riders to ideate and make cool stuff. I myself ran a transit camp in San Francisco Bay Area, which proudly gave birth to Google transit. I don't see as many bar camps today, and many of those that do exist don't follow the same loose format. But I tweeted out a question about bar camp just recently and got all sorts of responses. It's still alive and well in many places, including New Orleans, Saskatoon, Calgary, Minneapolis, Cameroon, Philadelphia, and more. Bar camp is a fantastic way to bring together people in the community and really showcase local talent, as well as encourage collaborations across various disciplines. Empower every man and you will gain strength. Because anyone can lead a session or speak, it opens up the floor to all sorts of people that wouldn't normally have a voice. As someone once described it, Bar Camp is the hallway conversation brought to the forefront. And we all know that the hallway conversations are where the magic happens. This is the magic trick, huh? Illusion, Michael. Just recently, I had a conversation with a local police officer about doing Cop Camp, another public services-based camp, much like Transit Camp, where we can bring together law enforcement officials, developers and geeks, data people, businesses, citizens, and anyone else who would be interested in collaborating. I have some ideas of what I'd like to see come out of it, but keeping myself open to all sorts of possibilities. Got some calls that things are getting a little ratty down here. <laughs> it's such a great format. All you need is space with a bunch of separate rooms for gatherings and talks, food and people, oh, and Wi-Fi. The rest just happens organically. If you're inspired by the Bar Camp format, definitely check out barcamp.org. I'll also link to a bunch of resources in the description below. And do let me know if you're gonna do one. I'm a bit of a camp head, you know, people who are addicted to going to Bar Camp. You are a nerd. My name is Tara, and this has been Truly Social.